So guys, I am walking in Baden-Baden and um, I remember a question I saw today and someone was asking me what do you need to remember when traveling solo? So let me give you my 20 tips on traveling solo. So tip number one travel insurance you definitely need a travel insurance in case you get sick or you need any vaccines for a certain kind of uh, country make sure you get your travel vaccines before you travel tip number two um, don't carry all your valuables I do not understand why people have to carry their best watch and their best the best everything and the best earrings and I know when you're traveling you want to take good photos I understand that part but you do not have to take the whole of your jewelry box with you I uh, leave the most valuable things at home um, yeah and uh, you wouldn't have to worry the whole time uh, where are my things will they be stolen where are they where are they you can just have fun and relax so leave your valuables at home tip number three uh, make sure you travel during the day what i mean is you can travel during the night but um arrive during the day because uh, you don't want to arrive solo in a, a town somewhere in in italy and uh you are looking for the hotel at 11 p.m you don't want to do that so uh, make sure you arrive very early so you still have time to get from the airport to the hotel you can look at the surroundings see what they have to offer near your hall your hostel or your hotel and then after that um, when it gets dark you already know how to find yourself and wh how you can find your hotel so if it is possible i would recommend you to uh, book a hostel because um, mostly if you book a hostel i think i mentioned this in another video um, the biggest probability is you will meet other solo travelers there so uh, if it is possible avoid hotels and just book a hostel um, and then you can also um, as far as hostels are concerned uh, look at your accommodation really well because some some hostels uh, tend to have female only floors so at least when you when you have done this research you will be able to know where you want to stay so another tip avoid telling strangers that you're traveling alone this is something i see that people want to talk and want to have a conversation and then they end up telling a stranger in a bar that i'm all alone here for 10 or 20 days and um, so you you become an easier target if someone has uh, bad intentions you never know so avoid telling someone you're traveling solo so another thing you can do as far as this is concerned is you can also carry your ring or carry any ring let it let it look like you are there on vacation with your bay um and even if someone asks you can be like i'm here with my with my husband he's somewhere around the corner he'll be here in a minute so you avoid you avoid being a target so if you can wear your rings uh, or carry rings that you can wear and uh, always look like you're waiting for your man because he's uh, you know like don't don't uh, really look like you are alone and traveling alone so make sure that all your travel uh, documents are scanned and uh, sent to someone via email so send you to yourself first via email because uh, if you are to lose uh, all the documents that you need at least you would still uh, you would still have the copies that you sent yourself on email and it should be an easier access in case of anything also let the people that love you your friends your family let them know exactly what you have planned uh, which museums you want to go to um, uh, keep informing them what you have for planned for tonight don't just go uh, MIA and nobody knows where you are so uh, inform someone that loves you where you are let them know because of in case of anything they'll always know where to find you if something does not feel right and something does not look right if that food or that room or that bar or that guy does not look good and your instinct is telling you something is wrong just stand up calmly and just leave you do not have to put yourself in situations that you really know are not good for you this goes without saying dress appropriately because you do not want to go somewhere where everybody is all covered up and uh, your legs are out or your cleavage is, uh, is out um, there are also towns or there are also cities that 
people show legs more and less cleavage or more cleavage and less legs you do a research first know uh, the culture of this place when you're going what do they wear what uh, what is everybody wearing the best thing you can also do is you can also shop there so arrive in Rome and shop there because the probability is you will find things that everybody is wearing there so as far as dressing is concerned make sure you are, you are not standing out too much yeah just uh, blend in try it as much as possible to blend in so another point is don't go drinking all night when you are alone i see people who still in uh, insist on going out and having parties the whole night and you are alone in a new country in a new city so know your limits uh, don't choose too much alcohol something else that i never understand is how people travel solo and have a bag that is open like you know these shopping bags and that is like your bag bag uh that is an easier way of telling someone yeah okay you can just come into my bag and take whatever you want find a closed bag make sure it's in front of you where you can see it or at the back and it's closed like locked or closed don't uh walk around uh, a new a new city all alone with a bag uh, open enough for everybody to get in and take everything they want so get yourself a good bag also if you want to really blend in I've, I've tried these also uh, go to a local shop buy a normal local uh, paper bag and instead of walking around with shopping bags and a, a thousand uh, luxury bags uh, use a paper bag just put your stuff there two three things you need for the day i'm telling you nobody will think that you're new or you, everybody will think you just li you live there you're just going to the grocery shop or something it's also a safe way it's also a safe way to keep uh to keep um strangers away to keep people with bad intentions away when in a hotel or a hostel always keep the impression that uh, you are there don't ever give the impression that I've just left everything in the hotel and I'm going out uh, if you're not in the room leave some music playing sometimes leave the light on you uh, better be safe than sorry um, so make sure you always keep the impression I'm, I'm in I'm here I'm in the room I've not gone anywhere walk directly to your specific places wherever you want to go uh keep your time uh, just just go directly to where you're supposed to go don't just walk around like i don't know what i'm doing what do i do right now because you put a target on your back so be careful when you're walking around don't just loiter for no reason so the biggest pointer here is confidence uh walk like you're confident even if you're acting uh be confident in your walk in your talk in how you you stand just your body language let it say i've been here a thousand times i'm not here uh i'm not here for the first time i'm not here alone uh, let your body language just keep uh, those people away that you don't want in your space so something else you need to do is when you're going to a new country a country that doesn't speak your language try to learn at least help in their language like in german it will be hilfe <laughs> so um if you can say help in that language in case of anything anywhere you can always cry for help another safety tip is uh, always take a card from your hostel or your hotel take an extra card um, take it with you in case you ever lose your bag or you 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 have forgotten where you're supposed to go you can always give give it to the taxi uh, person or the bus driver and they'll tell you where you are so always carry a card with you uh, that uh, say that has the information of where you're staying so another point that you should consider is if you're giving information uh, at the hostel or the hotel and you have to fill on you have to fill out this information card or form um, try to avoid your first name uh, instead of that write your initial and your surname or uh, something else that I also really like you can also use Mrs. In, instead of Miss so let it be Mrs. C something um, so that is the only way you can keep your information safe from hotels and hostels at least um, it does not hurt and yeah another tip that I really really like 
all of us need a go-to bag and that means you, you should have one bag that has all the important things you need uh, in your travel and put it in one corner but that if anything were to happen or if uh, there was fire or people are running from one direction to the other you will take one bag and you'll have everything you need you'll, you'll have some money there you have your passport you'll have your, everything that you need to uh, for your travel so have one bag that is go to and let all your important stuff if stay you there. have to like withdraw money from an atm i would say uh, try the atms that are already inside a bank yeah because uh, most people that do fraud what they do is they they make sure that your prints are still to be seen on the on the buttons and then when you go they have a way to stick it out or something i've had these uh, a lot of times and i would say if you're trying to withdraw money from an atm try the atms in the bank so guys um that is all i have for you today as long as solo traveling tips are concerned uh be safe all that you need to know is you just need your instincts and logic if i may be honest so be very 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 aware of your surroundings be aware of where you're going keep looking back um don't be those chicks that are always using their phone or always looking uh always looking at the map don't be that chick that um that is always looking up there where is everything and and then you leave your bag unattended or you keep it at the back of your chair just be very aware of your surroundings and you'll be just fine because we still have to travel we still have to see the world either we have company or not and i'm telling you solo traveling is the best best thing that you can do to yourself if you are a, a true traveler so make sure you go on a, on, on a solo trip be very safe and have the time of your life so i hope these tips help you let me know if you have other tips or if you have any questions about my solo trips and uh, i'll see you on the next one thank you bye bye guys i think i'm in love with that one behind me look at that